Hello! Today, I'm making this video about building my Linux gaming computer. Um, I recently made a video of the SteamOS beta, and it got a lot of love, it got a lot of criticism, and a lot of confusion down in the comments about everything. And uh, I got this new rig, and I wanted to document everything I'm doing from building the rig and getting Linux ready with all your drivers and with Steam. I'm not going to be just putting SteamOS on it. I'm going to be putting Fedora. Um, and I will be getting that all ready. So let's see what we're working with here. Um, my case is a ch Thermal Take Chaser Mark 1. Pretty fancy stuff. Um, motherboard is a Gigabyte. Um, UEFI dual BIOS sort of thing. Um, I have an 8 core AMD FX 8350 Black Edition unlocked. Um, 8 gigabytes of memory, which is 1600 megahertz, I believe. Um, power supply is a 620 watt Antec. Pretty good. Graphics. We have my <clears throat> GTX 680 Lightning. Um, I got a crusty old DVD drive, that'll do. An SD card reader that I'll try and fit in there. Um, you know, with these three drives here, I got almost three terabytes of storage and a solid state. So, that's it, let's get started. But we've all seen build videos before, so I'm not going to go super in-depth on putting this together. I want to focus a little more on the Linux side of things, but let's just take a little gander at, at what we're working with here. Um, the case is pretty sweet. Um, it's got your little headphone hanger, um, hot swappable SATA drive mount. Lots of USBs, eSATA. Um, it's all toolless. Pretty nice. Um, it's got two 200 millimeter huge fans. There's one, one out front, <clears throat> and a 140 millimeter exhaust fan. So that's pretty cool. Um, motherboard looks pretty sweet. Um, I think it actually looks a lot better than it did in the pictures. So let's keep going with this. Alright, I have the motherboard mounted in the case with the CPU and stock cooler. Um, I obviously have plenty of room for a huge cooler. I might look into one of them later. I just kind of spent a lot of money on this setup, so I'll get it running first before I buy any more stuff. All right, I'm almost done getting everything wired up. <clears throat> Let's just take a gander at what we got here. <clears throat> GPU is in. Crazy fans. <clears throat> got all my drives. I ended up using all six SATA connections. I didn't think I would, but I did. And now look at this mess. You know, I gotta clean this up, but it's looking pretty good. Let's just see how fast this boots on an SSD. Here we go. Wow, oh, I didn't even see the load bar right into Fedora. That's crazy. Log in screen. I'm in! That is the fastest boot I've ever had in my life. Ever. Hello. So I have Fedora 20 completely installed onto this computer. Um, I had a little problem with the Ethernet not working with the new motherboard. <laughs> But that turned out to be a setting in my BIOS. I had to turn on IOMMU 
and then it worked. Um, I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, great, this doesn't work now, but now, you know, figured it out. So let's show you what we got here. We have, um, I installed the proprietary NVIDIA driver through the RPM Fusion repositories, which I'll put in the description if you're interested. And uh, the driver install, super easy. You know, yum install, AK mod, NVIDIA. Install it, reboot, and it's loaded up. <clears throat> yum install Steam. You can get Steam from RPM Fusion. And uh, I'm ready to game. It's It was a very simple setup. Um, let's... Let's, let's do some stuff, man. So here we have the polynomial. It's a fun little Linux game. Let's just fly around and do a little bit. <clears throat> um, works pretty good. Got a lot of particles. Looks pretty nice. Let's find one bad guy and kill him. The frame rate's a little bad because I am recording my screen right now. Yeah. So. I guess this game is really pushing the graphics with all these little particles and stuff. But. Yeah. Works good. to start game. Oh, that's because I already clicked it. Alright. Portal, 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 portal. We know this is going to run this great because it's a pretty old game. But we'll try it out anyway. The frame rate is a little lagging because I'm recording my screen. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Pretty good. So, let's just take a gander at what we're running here. You can see my settings that I have. NVIDIA driver installed, um, GNOME 310, GNOME recognized all my hardware, um, we do get a little bit of stuff to play around with with NVIDIA, it's not nearly as many settings as the Windows client has, but it gets the job done. So while we're here, I think I'll give you a quick little tour of Fedora 20. So Fedora is running GNOME as its graphical compositor and graphical user interface is called GNOME. Um, let me show you GNOME. GNOME is cool. So you have a launcher which searches everything you have on your system from applications to you know files it'll search within settings and stuff it's super quick you can also just view stuff through traditional you know browsing like this but it's a lot faster to just search um, gnome has a pretty cool thing called extensions which 
you can download from the GNOME website. Through the browser, it installs them to your system. No work required, just mouse click, it's amazing. So some cool extensions I like, dash to dock, shows the dock, you know, it hides when something blocks it, which I wish the OSX dock would do, but it doesn't. Another awesome one, drop down terminal, you hit the tilde on your keyboard, and you get wonderful little terminal. Pretty nice. Um, you can make an applications menu for the top, so when you click it, you get more of a traditional um, way to find your stuff. And you can also you just use the launcher too with that. Um, I use a little weather extension, which brings up a little weather menu. It's pretty nice. Um, and window list. Window list is cool. It gives you a list on the bottom of the screen with what windows you have open. Pretty nice. Extensions are fun. Um, Fedora 20 added a new software um, program which lets you search for programs in a nice clean graphical way. Um, I feel the well, one software program they had before was kind of lacking. Um, this one's definitely a huge improvement. You know, you could search, see installed stuff, you can remove it straight from here, um, and do your updates. All in one, one clean place. It's pretty nice. I have to play around with that as I get using this system more. And um, let's pull up Steam. Connecting to my account of Steam. I just want to run big picture mode and see how it works because we know Steam. Steam for Linux, you know, it's just, it's just what it always is. Works good. Let's pull up the, B, the BP mode. See how it goes. Do, do, do. Oh my god. Oh, oh. There we go. No, no trouble, no trouble. Um, now within Steam OS, it's pretty much big picture mode. And when you go to up here, return to desktop, it returns you to GNOME 3 from Debian, because Steam OS is Debian. Based. So I guess this has been my little Linux gaming computer video. Um, I don't know what else to show you. I can show you my cool system monitor, eight cores. They're all running, running good. Alright, thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a good one.